awesome new Cougar 26 rear bath slide here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, everybody and their brother suddenly has a super slide rear bathroom with side entertainment. But they're all a Me Too floor plan. It's like everybody builds it the same way. And Cougar went, I can do that different. And they, it, they did it small. They did small changes, but they made very Cougar centric things. Like they've, they've found a little niche doing little things that other brands aren't doing and it works really well for them. And by the way, if you want to see if we have one of these in stock and available, visit the link in our video description or feel free to give our team a call here anytime. Uh, you know, the link in the video description says check for price and availability. You will see if we have one in stock. You'll see how it's equipped. You'll see what we're asking. You'll notice we don't uh, charge extra hidden fees with Halet RV when you give our team a call. We put everything right out there so it's simple and easy. So, most of the time, this side entertainment rear bath, and obviously the bunkhouse versions thereof, most of the time, the rear bath doesn't get an outside kitchen. And Cougar went, wait a minute, do you realize that under that entertainment center, we could bring an outside kitchen to the table? We've got just enough room for a nice little mini fridge and for one of these sweet capital grills that we put on our fifth wheel. These things burn hotter in Hades, you know? Every time you start cooking on these, it feels like it's warmer in downtown hell, I swear. <laughs> I'm going to close these up just because of the weather currently, but you may have noticed that's magnet latched too. All your baggage doors are magnet latched. Um, this has a little bit heavier uh, tire package on it, and that's kind of a cool thing. What Cougar really does what they're good at is they say, what is our biggest trailer? Great. I want to use that thickness of chassis. I want to use uh, those heavier brakes and axles. I want to use the bigger furnace. I want to use all the same things we use in our biggest floor plan here on this little 26 foot, 6,510 pound guy. And that's what's kind of great about this. You're getting heavier components and because they've standardized it, they can get a better buy on it. You're really not paying any extra on it. Um, another interesting thing on the on the Cougars, um, 6,510 pounds, that's pretty lightweight for something with a big super slide like this. But it's not necessarily built like an ultralight. For instance, it doesn't have the inch and a half skinny ultralight walls. It has a normal two inch uh, fifth wheel wall. They're just really smart about how they put these together. And obviously with their service records being a multi-consecutive year quality award winner, Cougar is absolutely getting the job done. Little solar prep, little um, water dock station there. Now. I don't know if you noticed that uh, that jack leg next to the tires by the outside kitchen, but this does have full automatic one-touch leveling. Cougar was one of the very first to uh, bring that to a lot of travel trailers. That's actually standard on this floor plan is what's kind of cool. They found the floor plans where it really works and makes sense and they just standardized it. Because again, you get uh, repetition and quality through standardization. It just makes sense. Now. Um, there are about three different methods uh, Cougar has gone through, and really Keystone in general, not just Cougar, to, uh, to improve what they do with their slide outs here. And that is where all these Cougar clones fall short. They can copy floor plans, they can build a cabinet at the same location, but they're missing the fine details like the, the, the triple sealed slide system, the seal gripping slide walls, the interior uh, slide out rain gutters to channel water away, the full walk on not just roof, but also slide outs of a Cougar. It's those extra things that separate them here. Now the cargo travel rack in the back here, it's got a, hold on, got the sticker right here, 225. I, I can never remember his two to 250 and it's actually right in the middle, how about that? Uh, 225 pound load limit on that. It's got the handy little bike rack hook on it. Um, very handy thing for traveling and at 6,510 pounds, you're probably gonna do some traveling. Although this floor plan, and especially this has an ungodly amount of storage in it, it really lends itself well to uh, extended stays. And another thing is it's super park friendly because there's nothing obstructing the campsite of the RV over here. There's nothing blocking the camper. You, you've got all the room in the world under that uh, easy tilt power awning to really have a good time. Now, key point here to talk about, ladies and gentlemen, is that second entry door. I'll get to that in just a second because I saw something shiny and I got distracted by a squirrel in the meantime. Outside TV hookups, near the outside kitchen. Outside utility shower, near the outside kitchen. Now what's cool about this is that little water dock station on the other side has its own separate hot and cold outside shower. So this actually has two, one on the campsite, one on the offside. Okay, uh, friction hinge entry doors, meaning anti-slam entry doors, but that second entry door is the key point I wanna talk about. It makes this RV 100% accessible with the slide closed. And I'll probably repeat that when we get to the bedroom inside, but it is 
it's become such a big deal. It's so handy. Now that slide outs are so prolific, a lot of floor plans, when the slide out is closed, it cuts the RV in half and you can't get through it. Normally, there's a lot of different versions of a rear bath side entertainment, like I mentioned earlier. And that is a common deficiency with them, is that you lose access to the bedroom with, uh, without that second door. Obviously, they're paying attention to detail here. You're gonna see more of that right now as we step inside. Now, at the uh, recent Louisville Manufacturers RV Show, which is like, you know, folks like yourselves, you go to a dealer's RV show to see things. Well, uh, dealers go to a manufacturer's RV show, kind of the same thing. This new release floor plan was voted best in show. Of all the new things that were out there, people looked at this and said, man, Cougars got something going on. And I, I, I think I agree with them. I really do. Um, now, this... Um, Side entertainment facing couples rear bathroom concept. It's been done. It's been done a lot. There's a lot of manufacturers out there that build this, but they all build a Me Too floor plan where they're all kind of building the same thing. And then this year, Cougar and Whitehawk from Jayco both said, you know what? We can do it better. We can do it different. And now better is a subjective term, but I think they did a dynamite job on it. I'll say that. And most of it really stems from the way that they handle their entertainment center. That's, that's where this one's significantly different. Now, again, remember, there are different furnitures, different decors available. Um, one of the things you're going to see a lot of for most uh, dealers is a hide -a bed right there. And we thought, you know, this is a couple's coach. You two need a place to sit down and kick your feet up. And because this is facing directly to the entertainment center, this ridiculously sized TV over here, we thought, man, what, what, uh-oh, I'm losing power. What's going on? Apparently, as living on borrowed time, our friendly neighborhood RV delivery driver was still hooked up to this, and when he pulled his truck off of it, we lost power. Got my box hooked up. We're back in motion here. So like I was saying, this is a couple's coach. You need a place to kick your feet up directly across from the entertainment center. Theater seat makes the most sense. This is perfect right here. I like this setup. Now... A lot of times I see what I hear is called grandparent guilt. Grandpa, grandma, usually grandma, sorry, it feels like, oh, I feel guilty if my grandbabies don't have a place to come hang out with us. So we left a booth in here so that you can still have a backup space for the grandkids to sleep. Now there's different furniture agents. There's a hide bed you can put in here. There's a freestanding table and chairs. We, we really thought that theater seat was going to be a, a, the, the home run on this one here. Now... Cougar is excellent for having max size windows. This thing's going to give you all sorts of light. You're going to get all sorts of visibility all over the place, and they all open for airflow, including those slide side windows right there. Now, uh, the ceiling is vaulted to give it that nice, big, open feeling. Open feeling, vaulted ceiling. That's nerdism number 37 right there. Look that up in my definitionary. Um, I do too like, uh, or I, I guess I also like how they didn't waste anything here in the kitchen. I like this drawer arrangement. Um, I've seen different manufacturers come up with a different kitchen arrangement here. Cougar's kitchen arrangement that we're looking at right here is taken straight out of their other travel trailers and it works dynamite and they didn't need to fix it. I like the inclusion of that drawer below the oven. You can see the big wastebasket space below the uh, countertop line there. And these are thermal foil countertops. They're pressed resin membranes so that you can have that um, uh, stainless double sink right here. Now the sink covers, uh, since the sink is recessed, the sink covers give you a little more of a flush type uh, counter uh, setup. And uh, we've got a recessed stove to give you good space in here. Now, normally, this is another area where Cougar nailed this floor plan. Uh, a lot of manufacturers who build a layout like this, they this door right here, it gets lost when you close the super slide. But Cougar overcame that shortcoming. They included a second entry door straight to the bedroom so that when you are traveling or when the slide out is closed and you're packing the RV up or for whatever reason, the RV remains 100% fully accessible. You can get to every darn thing in this because of that second entry door. Now we're looking at the Cougar King bed, a little bit wider bed, and I love that recessed headboard up there. Um, there's actually, uh, you can obviously see the light in there, and you've got your dual side stands with outlets for uh, CPAP type users. Easy lift storage below the bed, by the way. Um, um, turning around, quick note, 8 cubic foot fridge freezer. Uh, a lot of brands have gone to stainless. Um, well, they go to a stainless appearance, not true stainless. Cougar, their decor, it didn't really work with them. And I kind of like the difference. Again, I like having variants and options. Here's a good shot of the theater seat directly across from the entertainment. Now, 
Remember, you've got an outside kitchen behind that electric space heating fireplace. But the fireplace right there is another area where Cougar's done it a little different. And the fact that they had to build that little shelf out in front of the fireplace, and the way that they did it, it's very intentional, it's very angular, it looks sharp, it looks smart. And check out this just monstrously sized HD TV directly across from you. But once again, Cougar does it well. And this area right here is where uh, manufacturers who build uh, this uh, side entertainment rear bathroom, um, they they all handle this differently, and I don't generally like how a lot of them handle it. I like this one. I like all the easy storage behind the TV, because the TV itself actually acts as a pantry door. And it's on a double swing arm, so if you want to make it face out toward the dinette where I'm standing now, you definitely can too. But another thing a lot of manufacturers do is they have this weird pseudo hallway right here. And it never works well. That's motion sensitive, by the way. Did you see that kick on? That is so cool. So the light is on right when you come home, but it's not attracting bugs otherwise. I like that Cougar just went with a traditional pantry right here and all these extra drawers right by the entry door. Having drawers by the doors, that is a good thing. Now this back here, this right here, this rear corner and the bathroom is exactly like the 22 RBS Cougar here at Halet RV. And this is another thing that they've done exceptionally well. This closet is bigger than a refrigerator. This is literally bigger than the fridge. They could just about squeeze uh, an 18 cubic foot residential fridge in here. They can't quite, but it is close. And tell me when too much storage is ever the wrong answer. Now, little structural items like this are part of the reason we've had such a good service record with Cougars. Um, three inch interior fully structured walls. That's not just a Cougar thing though, that's kind of just a Keystone thing. Even our most basic Keystones, the Keystone Summerland, which is really the starter point of the entire Keystone RV lineup. Even they have the same wall structure and whatnot. Um, that's a, a porcelain bowl foot flush, by the way. And this little corner linen cabinet up here, it's just enough to keep some towels in here so that you don't have to do the naked run um, out into the uh, living room. And that is another of those thermal foil countertops by that massive sink right there, by the way. The split open easy entry shower and the location of the uh, skylight kind of finish this one up and make this just well, in the words of um, Fix-It Felix Jr. for Wreck-It Ralph, she's just a dynamite gal. So give us a call, 800-256-5196, Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.